Hey, what's going on? Why am I attracted to the void? <sighs> do you realize that it's not the void that's attracting you? What do you mean? There is nothing here. <sighs> Stop making noise. What's going on here? I should be the one asking you why I'm attracted to you and I can't even see you. Well, I better get started. This is Black Hole. It's one of the most mystical and mysterious phenomena in the universe. It is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. And although we can see black holes as dark spots in the starry sky, their story begins long before they were visible through a telescope. Okay, wait, I got that one. What am I supposed to do if it's such an unexplored and dangerous phenomena? Oh, wait a minute! Ahem. According to legend, the first mention of a black hole was in ancient China. In 140 AD, astronomer and mathematician Zhuangzi wrote about a black star that absorbs all light and prevents itself from being seen. He claimed that this star had such powerful gravity that it attracted even the light of other stars to itself. Only in 1916, Albert Einstein published his general theory of relativity, which predicted the existence of black holes. But even after that, scientists couldn't find evidence of their existence, as they were too small and far from Earth. Finally, in 1971, Astrophysicist John Wheeler proposed the term black hole to describe these mysterious objects. Since then, scientists around the world have been actively studying black holes and their properties. Today we know that black holes can be of different sizes, from a few solar masses to entire galaxies. They are formed as a result of catastrophic events such as a supernova explosion or the merger of two stars. Inside a black hole, the laws of physics change, time slows down and space warps to the point where nothing can leave it. I hope I've made myself clear. Yeah, I think I got it now. <laughs> Get off, Milky! Come on, anyway, you know I'll catch you. I don't want to collide with you! Be careful over there. There's a supermassive black hole! Huh? Where? Damn, you played me like a fiddle! Ah! Wow! It's kinda windy today! What the is going on here? <laughs> Apocalypse! Everyone, calm down! Nothing unusual! Just Andromeda finally bumped into the Milky Way! Nothing unusual! This is a galactic scale astonishment! It's the end for all of us! There is nothing of the sort. They'll just merge and become a new spherical-shaped galaxy. The chance of something catastrophic happening is astronomically low. See? Is that a very incredibly unlikely event? Oh, darn. <sighs> all right, it was nice knowing all of you. I love and forgive you all. Wait, wait, wait! What is happening? With a one in a billion chance, when two black holes collide in the centers of galaxies, a so-called pulsar can form. It's like a black hole the size of a planet, but both galaxies are compressed in it. Can you imagine the density? So what? Aren't there many black holes in space? But the pulsar not only devours, but also emits light. It's the brightest of all existing stars. And right now all that energy is going to roast us. So we should panic? You can. The death ray doesn't scare. What a hear fun fact! Some believe that life on me began right after I got bathed in the pulsar's light. The beginning and the end. Why are you so calm? What does it matter? We'll all come back in the next episode as if nothing happened. Guys, Earth has completely lost it from fear. Apocalypse! Well, that's how it is. I often think about questions like these. Cool. Why are you so smart? Ah! What's going on? I can't react that fast and figure out what it is. Ow! Holy shit. Get yourself together. They're filming us. Damn, what the hell is that? It burns really bad. Ah! Okay, I 
hope it will be all right. Let's go see what it is. <laughs> Son, what the hell was that? Why did a drop of lava fly into the moon? Oh, I didn't want anyone to see me, the most beautiful star, in such condition. But since you've seen me, I have to tell you everything. Go on, I really hope you will justify yourself. I don't know what it is, but throughout my life, sometimes some toxins come out of me. I feel as if I'm gonna vomit. But this nausea every time is different. Sometimes it's rays or splashes of lava. I do not know what else I can say, but please don't tell anyone. Hmm, so... What could it be? I've heard about it, but I can't really remember. Ha! Solar storms! Yeah, solar storms! I've never seen it happen, but frankly, I'd rather not. Yeah, I wish I hadn't seen it too. And better yet, I wish I hadn't felt it! Earth, if you know what it is, can you tell me? To be honest, I haven't studied this subject very well, but I can tell you some basic things. I'd really like to hear them. Then listen! Most planets, and particularly me, have such a thing as a magnetic field. I don't want to tell you in detail what it is. Because, Moon, you're too dumb for this topic. Screw you, tell me more! But Sun also has such a thing as plasma. It creates magnetic fields when it's moving, and this magnetic field forms some kind of particle flow. This magnetic field stores a huge amount of energy. Oh my god! That's enough. I don't understand anything! Straight to the point. What the hell flew in on me? And where did it come from? Well... Okay, Sun's particle flow isn't always stable, unlike mine. Instead of this, it has something like this. Because of it, the Sun has knots that get bigger and bigger over time, like pimples on teenagers' faces. <laughs> it sounds like a disease. And then they burst and eject plasma and harmful substances into the solar system. That's what flew into you, Moon. Here we go, Sun. <sighs> what a naughty star. Guys, I think it's happening again. What? <laughs> We've done it with dogs, now it's time to send a man into space. The calculations are correct, let's build a rocket. Three, two, one, let's go! By the way, <laughs> you know what? You won't believe it. <laughs> Just say it already. They really think that you're made out of cheese. Can you imagine that? What a load of nonsense. This is some kind of a weird satellite. What else did they come up with? It should have been us. That's not fair. How do we outrun them? Well, of course. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. By the way, there's a new video.